Welcome. In this video, I'm going to help you determine for what values of x the given power series is convergent. But before we begin, we need a little fix here. Actually, I'll just cross this whole thing out. That should, that should say n equals 1. If it's already fixed on your own notes, for those of you in my calculus course, well, then you're good. Otherwise, please make that fix. And those of you on YouTube, you know, make sure you write it down with n equals 1. All right, for this, we're going to use the root test. And now before we get into the particulars of the root test, I want to review what the root test actually is. So recall the root test. So for the root test, we're going to look at the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n. And then so that I can describe what we're looking for in the results without having to rewrite this whole mess over and over again, let's call this L. If L is less than 1, then the power series is convergent. If L is greater than 1, then the power series is divergent. If L equals 1, then the test is inconclusive. All right, so there's our introduction to the root test in case you haven't seen it or you just forgot, which is also fine. So let's go ahead and set up our limit knowing that a sub n is equal to x minus 1 to the nth power divided by n. All right, so we're looking at the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of x minus 1 to the nth power divided by n. Well, this is equal now to the limit as n approaches infinity. And all I'm really doing in this step is just simplifying this as best I can algebraically. So this is the absolute value of x minus 1 in the numerator, and in my denominator I have n to the 1 over n power. Now this limit neglects anything that is not n. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as the absolute value of x minus 1 times the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n to the 1 over n power. Well, you can remember this rule way back when from Calc 1 that this is just x minus 1 times 1 over the limit as n approaches infinity of n to the 1 over n power. And I write that this way since I'm not going to go over how to evaluate this limit. Those of you who took the first semester of this course with me have seen this last semester. You can go back and review your own notes. Or um, there should be a card popping up. And I can't remember which side. It's on one of those two sides. And it will have a link to just a video on evaluating this limit. So if you remember how to do it, great, just keep watching this video. If you don't, please re-watch the video that's coming up at the top of your screen, that video link. Either way, I'm going to write out what this is. So the limit as n approaches infinity of n to the 1 over n power is equal to 1. Okay, so this is just the absolute value of x minus 1 times 1, which is just itself. This will converge so long as this is less than 1. Well, what does this tell us? Well, this can be equivalently written as negative 1 is less than x minus 1 is less than 1. So adding 1 to all three parts of this equality, we end up with 0 is less than x minus 1 is less than 2. So right now, what do we know? I'm going to go ahead and draw a little number line here. Oh, oh, actually, <laughs> before I do that, look, I added one to every side but didn't denote that here. Ooh, let me erase that. There we go. So what we're saying is here's zero, here's two. I know this whole series, power series, is convergent here. So everywhere I see pink, I know there's convergence. So now I'm curious about the endpoints. What about at zero and what about at two? Well, for that, let's apply other tests. Okay, as you can see, I quickly just made a little bit of space here. If x equals 0, what do we end up with? We have the sum from 1 to infinity of 0 minus 1 to the nth power over n. This is the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the nth power over n. This is the alternating harmonic series. Those of you in my calculus course have already seen this. 
the alternating harmonic series converges. Okay, so that tells me that I have convergence here at zero. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a little underline there in my inequality. Now let's look at the case where x equals two, not 12. I don't know why I wrote 12, but two. So this is the sum from n equals one to infinity of two minus one to the nth power over n. Well, that's just the sum of one over n. This is the harmonic series. Those of you, again, in my calculus course have already seen this. And the harmonic series diverges. So here on my number line, I'm going to pop open um, that open dot there. And that means I'm not going to drop an underline here. We don't need it. So let's go ahead and write out our conclusion now. Okay, so my conclusion, I'm gonna pop it right here in this red box, just for organization's sake. The interval of convergence for this power series is between zero and two. And the radius of convergence, R is equal to one. And with that, here is a quarantine throwback. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, hope you enjoyed this video.